Welcome to Texas Telestrator presented by BMW. I'm your host, John Harris. And there's an old saying, you'd rather be lucky than good. Well, the Texans in their sack against the Indianapolis Colts were a little bit lucky, but they were also very, very good. So let's go to our surface presented by Microsoft, and I'll show you how a great play by the Texans could have been a tremendous play by the Colts. And that's where the lucky part comes in. But that's okay, because they got sacked. So let's take a look right here. Now, the Colts come out and empty. Carson Wentz right back here, all alone. They're in 11 personnel. One back, Naeem Hines right here, and one tight end, Kylan Granson, who's right here. Granson's kind of like a wide receiver, so it's almost 10 personnel. But either way, it's third and eight. They're probably going to throw this thing. Great design blitz here. The Texans are going to play cover one. Okay, so cover one is one safety, in this case, Justin Reed, and he is going to play over top of everything. Cover one is called man free. So all these guys right here are going to play man to man. We're going to lock up right here on Terrence on the outside with Pittman. You got Eric Murray on T.Y. Hilton. You got Desmond right here. I think that's Pascal. So they're going to play man to man. And then Granson is going to get picked up by one of the linebackers and you would assume that Naeem Hines would be picked up by somebody, either Jacob Martin peeling off or a linebacker peeling off. And that's where the lucky part comes in. So we'll get to that in a second. But it's pretty good coverage on the back end. So let's take a, co- a look at the coverage. They're going to lock things up pretty well. I mean, not much there, not much there. Pittman runs an out and up. Terrence gets back in phase. But if you look at it at this point where nobody's open, you already got the rush just eating that alive. Just ate it up. Now, how did that happen? You got some You got some droppers. Well, you think they're dropping. Kamu looks like he's dropping, but then he's going to follow Tab. Tab's coming. They're looping and doing some things, and the Colts can't pick it all up. Okay, you see how Braden Smith goes with Ross on the inside, and that just opens a path for Tab and then Kamu to follow behind. Nice blitz, well executed, except for one thing. Thankfully... Carson Wentz's eyes never go to Naeem Hines. And I'm not sure, totally, who was supposed to peel off and cover Hines. He blocks a bit on Jacob Martin, gets a little chip, and then watch Hines. There's nobody over there. That's man, that's man, that's man. Justin standing over the top of all this. If Wentz just took his eyes out here, Naeem Hines is like, bro, I'm open. That's the lucky part. The good part was pretty much everything else. So let's take a look at the rush from this point. Now, you got two linebackers mugging right here. So Wentz has got to make a decision. How are we going to protect against this? Well, that's the hard part because Ross does a great job looping here. He brings Smith, and now you got this happening. Here comes Tav. Their Tav's coming, and then you can see this. Boy, Wentz knows he's in trouble right there with these two coming on a blitz. Wentz never got his eyes out to his check down on third and eight. Had he, who knows what could have happened. But he didn't. And that's the key point. The Texans, Kamu Grugia-Hill, got a sack. <laughs>